annual ostrich festival, which we have been a part of here in the last few years, kicking off a few hours ago, our very own Christy Seifkin already getting in on the fun. She joins us live from Chandler on what to expect if you're headed out there this weekend. First of all, Ooh, wind windy. blowing. It was overcast today. Yeah. How are we looking weather-wise? Well, if you didn't believe me about the wind, and of course the wind just died down a little bit during our live shot, uh, my hair's been going crazy out here. We've got gusty winds, a little bit dusty, just a heads up, so definitely bring the uh, extra pair of sneakers. Don't bring your nice shoes out here. Uh, but the weather's going to be beautiful, nice, clear skies. We have started with the Fox 10 booth, which is here on site, because not only can you come out and see me today, but the one, the only, Ron Hoon, who's been up since who knows how early this morning, is out here meeting and greeting fans and running the Fox 10 prizes. Oh, Ron, we could... Did we have a winner here? What did they get? Oh, well, the thing is, everyone's a winner. So, yes, we Isn't do. it true? Everyone is a winner. We have a, oh, we have a choice of koozies here. You can have the Cool Sense NASCARs in town, you know, you can have oh, yeah. with the race. Yeah. With the flag. And what about what about this guy? Is this... Well, that's a stress reliever. If you're in the news business or the weather forecasting business, oh, yeah. it is somewhat stressful. Christy, perhaps you could win one of these. All oh, your... yeah. Big money. Big money. So, if you come out here, we're spinning this wheel. We've been meeting so many Fox 10 people. People. Oh, man, I'm telling you. And also, if you're in our business, uh, you love coffee all day, all night, because you need it to stay awake. So yeah. come out and get the mug. But one thing that's really fun this year for the kiddos, uh, if you ever love jumping in those ball pits as a little kid, we have our own Fox 10 version of it. And Caleb is in the ball pit. He's been waiting patiently. Caleb, you're going to be searching for a gold ball. And if you win that gold ball, you're going to get one of our really cool T-shirts. So you ready? Ready, set, go. All right, Caleb's going to dig away, and he is hoping to get one of the new Big Bang Theory red T-shirts. Caleb, you got this. Look for the shiny object. And, of course, we do little Lysol sprays uh, between rounds of children. Very sanitary here at Fox 10. And sometimes, if you need a little helping hand, uh, Paul in promotions might have a little spare gold ball that he can throw into kind of... Oh, I think I see it. Caleb, oh, do you see it? Oh, yes! And as Ron Hoon told us, everybody here is a winner. So he will be getting a... What? What is... What is that? Show us the T-shirt, Caleb. Ah, oh, what do you think, buddy? He's like, it's 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 not a pony, it's not a McDonald's Happy Meal. He's like, eh, but it's good. Red's your color. What do you want to say, honey? Do you like it? Yes. Yes. Good answer. So, guys, we're going to be out here throughout the uh, afternoon till 5:30 at the booth. But I'll be out here throughout the course of the evening. We have live concerts uh, tonight, 8 o'clock. Uh, not the Commodores. James, who do we have tonight? Uh, Flo Rida is here tonight, Ooh. and Troy and Celeste are going to be out introducing Great. them. And then we have the Commodores tomorrow. Christina and Mark will be out introducing them. And all sorts of other fun. Of course, we'll be checking in on the ostriches just a little bit later on That's in the show. amazing. You know what? I bet you that Ron Hoon remembers the first annual ostrich festival. <laughs> he was probably yes. out there covering does. that. Sure. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I'm gonna you, and you're not old him, enough yeah. to remember that one, right, Christy? <laughs> I wasn't in Arizona yet, so I definitely right. missed no, it. No, no, no. You weren't born yet at that point. <laughs> That's right. Okay, that, that too. <laughs> right. Yeah, you're 29. Thanks, Christy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everyone's 29 forever, right? Yes. Boy, I heard it from you for years. That was like 10 years <laughs> now ago. Now I'm 39. All right. North Korea may be doubling down on their nuclear efforts following the recent... ...on social media by the dance studio where this guy gets down. Since then, Post Malone himself has shared the video. Will Smith, too. I mean, it's insane. Everyone loves it. Four million views. You know what I really like out of this? What? Is that sometimes people have hobbies that maybe they're a little bit like, I know I don't like fit the bill, but I really like to do this. Sure. Yeah. You would look at that guy, and the last thing you would think is that he was a hip-hop hip -hop dancer. dancer. Yes, yeah. But right? he's going for it and is incredible at it. I watched it like 20 times yesterday, over and over, and I was just like, yeah, get down, guy. She's happy. Yeah. I like the beard. Yeah, I know, I know look, you dude. like the beard. A bizarre new trend has become an internet debate. Milk Coke. Milk. And it's exactly what it sounds like. Mike. Mike. Oh, Mike. Oh, you like that better, I know. It started with this tweet. Milk Coke is a real thing. Brummies, people from Birmingham, love it. Birmingham. The post also includes a photo of the ingredients, which are milk and Coke, <laughs> and a guy supposedly drinking it. This has gotten more than a thousand retweets and twice as many comments. We tried it on Today in AZ this morning, mm. and in my humble opinion, it tastes like a uh, root beer float gone awry. Yeah. I, the milk was curdling a little bit. Ooh. Ooh. 
Our That's intern Claire said the milk may have been expired. Okay, so oh. I was going to try it, but mm -hmm. then when you said the curdle thing, I was like, oh, please take me out of it. We got so many texters this morning, and I'm sure you're going to get them even more after this. This was on Laverne and Shirley. They did it with Pepsi and Coke. Yeah. Pepsi and Coke or Pepsi and milk? Pepsi, and, Pepsi Coke. and Coke I would mix. I'm down with that. The milk, you leave it in the That's fridge. That's the new trend, Emma. Let's start it. Pepsi and Coke? <laughs> Pep Coke, anyone? <laughs> Yeah, I'll totally do Pimps yeah. Coke. A little rum in there, it'd be perfect. <laughs> okay, oh God, I don't know about that curdling though, my goodness. Yeah, apparently we may have a clip of them trying it. Let's, let's check it out. Here, I saved it for last. My grandmother used to boil Coke and then milk and then mix them <gasps> to cure diarrhea. Oh no. I don't know if you guys have got any uh, similar digestive issues this morning, but we just so happen to have some milk Coke ready. Here you go, guys. This is, no! this is curdling. Like, it's curdled. So I don't like I'm not. I'm not drinking this. You know what, producer Jess. I think it needs to be shaken up. Producer Jess has my back, and she says that mine's diet. It has a D on the glass, actually. Okay, just take a sip of it and see what it tastes like. No, you. I don't like Coke or milk. Listen, I'm not going to put my baby in danger Wow, that's responsible. That's just good parenting right there. It tastes like a root beer float. Okay, you try it. That's what I heard. Yeah. It's just... It's, try it! It's no, the Emma, you love it's, Coke. I, it's you love Coke. Coke. And you need milk for your growing baby. No, I have milk. <laughs> I got milk. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that so good. if that milk came from our fridge downstairs, we it's, don't yeah. know how long it's been that's, in there. Yeah, that, that's handy. We think Christy Siefkin rejoins us from the Chandler <laughs> Ostrich Festival. And this weekend, what do you think? Good, good weekend, pretty much? Fantastic weekend. I'm sure you guys remember a few years ago, it was so windy out here, it literally pulled the tents up from the ground. It's windy out here today, but we're not going to deal with that problem. It's going to be a spectacular weekend, no chance of rain for the valley. And I just wanted to bring you over to the midway because a lot of the kids, we're in the little kitty section, are already enjoying the rides. The uh, Turbo Guys, is that the name of the big ride? So that's more of an adult ride that goes 27 different directions. You want to eat your food after you go on the ride. But lots of rides for the kids. There's over 100 games uh, as well as rides at the festival and of course lots of yummy food which we'll look at in a bit but let's talk more about your forecast let's go ahead and go on over to those weather graphics starting with our weather headlines now today of course cooler than yesterday in the 60s but it's going to be even cooler as we get into saturday a mild weekend we're not looking at any storms moving through but then early next week we will be tracking several storms that could be rain bringing rain chances back to our forecast let's take a look at water vapor imagery. You'll see all of that teal on your screen. All of that moisture has drifted well to the east of us. We're starting to see some of that drier air working in from the south. And as we click on over to our uh, surface map, you can see a couple areas of low pressure. Now, these are the systems that we will be watching to affect us early next week, Monday into Tuesday, and then Tuesday into Wednesday. So thankfully, we're getting a break over the weekend, but there are some storms brewing in the Pacific. And as we look at satellite and radar tonight, you'll see that we do have some scattered rain and snow activity across northern Arizona. Light accumulations, really it looks like our chances of getting anything here in the valley are pretty slim, uh, but we do have concerns over wind. So if we take a look at the wind advisory map, you'll see uh, it's going to be in effect till 6 p.m. for northeastern Arizona and then for southeastern Arizona, that wind advisory is in effect until 8 o'clock. We're talking gusty winds 45 to 55 miles an hour and even here in the valley, although we're not under an advisory. It's pretty windy out here. If you couldn't tell from the hair flopping in my face just a couple minutes ago. Let's take a look at the four of the record statistics. Record heat for today, record high temperature rather, 92 degrees. That was set back in 1989. We're not going to get anywhere close to that. 75, the normal temperature for today. And today we've been in the 60s. Let's take a look at the national map. You'll see we've got a few active pockets of weather. We have some snow moving through portions of the Rockies. Also a wintry mix of rain and snow through parts of the Tennessee Valley uh, and throughout the southeast. A little bit of a soggy forecast in store along the Gulf coastline. Overnight lows for Arizona, they're going to look like this. Dropping down to 21 for the Grand Canyon, 33 for Globe, 42 for Gila Bend, and 29 for Douglas. A look at the afternoon highs for tomorrow. They'll sit anywhere from the upper 50s in Kingman to upper 60s for Bullhead City. Globe will be at 59. Gila Bend will be at 68. Tucson also at 68, and then St. John's will be at 58 degrees. The forecast, let's break it.
it down tonight into tomorrow. We are going to see mostly clear skies this evening, dropping down into those mid 40s. By tomorrow, uh, we're looking at upper 60s. So really nice forecast for Saturday. A little bit warmer into Sunday. Let's go on over to the 10 day forecast and you'll see we are going to continue to enjoy that dry weather at least through Sunday. But then come Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, we do have rain chances back in our forecast. So get outside and enjoy this beautiful weather while we have it. It's windy, but that's the worst of it. It will be kind of cool tonight, so make sure and bring a jacket with you. Festivities tonight out at Tumbleweed Park, and then of course all day Saturday, all day Sunday, and it wouldn't be the Ostrich Festival without ostriches. So coming up in our 5 o'clock newscast, we'll be visiting the ostriches and finding out a little, a little more about the history uh, of the festival and a little bit more about the animals. So we'll see you guys then. Very good. Ostriches good stuff. Ostriches are kind of cool, aren't they? She's getting buffeted out there by the winds. <laughs> and she's smiling through oh, it all. Yeah, she's a pro. You know, she could be in a snowstorm and she'd be happy. All right, are you tired of watching horrible parking? It's really getting bad in one neighborhood, and they put up their own sign and taking matters into their own hands, kind of explaining how you do it. And going cashless may be the latest trend for businesses, but one city says not in our town. Why they are banning cashless stores. Fox 10 AccuWeather forecast with Christy, Corey, and Stephanie all day on the station for today's best country and all time.